So, it would seem that uh, there's quite the omen going on there. As to um, what is in fact going on. The tower's gone dark. Probably because something up, something's up there. The bad guys don't want us to know. Turn on the lights again. Watch your old she scurry. I keep thinking about the laptop. The first of the kinds. Let's go with the monochrome display. Just a plain amber display waiting for my words. And they proved stupid at first. So we've got to talk to Remy Dixon. So this could be like a long one, but you know, I want to get it wrapped up this episode, hopefully. Remy! Bet you didn't know natural crimson comes from a book that eats evergreen oaks. Bugs! Bugs, you say? Oi! Oh, Remy, just jam packed with useful facts like that. Got any useful facts about the tower? It went dark, and I want to go for a look around. You help Remy? Could be Remy help you. What you've got in mind? Let me take care of the gated pit. There are cheap road sites. Right now, it's time to feed the old jumper. Doesn't ring a bell. He's a star attraction here. Big old alligator. Did you talk to Jumper? Does Jumper talk back? Is he more of a Morgan Freeman or Christopher Walken? You're weird. Let me let that. What does Jumper eat? Big old Jumper. He can't resist a tasty chicken in a diaper. Pick up what we need from the fun and view. My diaper chicken. What's so appealing about chicken and diaper? Looks like a chubby little infant to that old gator. Gets him hungry every time. Back soon. I don't know who's weirder, Romana, or uh, this old fellow there. So we're off to this gift shop, which apparently will sell, sell what we want, hopefully. Strikes me odd, Miss Peak. Civilian getting information from a device locked in a crime, crime scene. How much does a five-gallon head echo inside a ten-gallon head? I tread lightly on this business about the church and Kern's insurance policy, if I were you. If you were me, the brim of that hat would sit around my neck. So I was reading your blog, you picked up some interesting tidbits about our little town. I do what I can to keep it fresh. Uncle Dad, that's my cousin. Family reunions are an absolute freak show. Does that make him Mr. Cousin Uncle Dad? So it seems we have got yet another chief and someone's running along. What's going on? Hmm. Are we having like a secret meeting here? Well, maybe we can, uh, find out a bit of information then. Good to see you've got your boy Billy on a title -ish. Can you say the name of that, that blogger girl? Same? Same difference. We've got an ace in the hole waiting for her. Don't sweat it. Hmm, so maybe we've got this, like, 
situation where we've got a whole gang who have uh, conspired against Tad Kern, potentially. Who knows? Remy, bet you didn't know a baby uses 6,000 diapers and the first two are uh, her share. Sure. Let's for the first time in our lives be confused. If not, a hundred million times before then, when we was being weird. So you didn't really need my help? Remy just need to see what you could do. Sure. Hope appreciated, always. D does he think that we are the superstar by the name of Cher? Is that what he thinks Romana is? So I don't think that's the case, Romana. No, you need to just put him straight. I wasn't born in the wagon of a travelling show. I, d I don't think well, that's the best way of putting it, to be honest, Romana. Just, just say you're not a superstar. You'll it, it, get it. Say you don't sing songs. Yeah, just go for it. Don't be grumpy. Cher, let Remy show you feeding time with old Jumper. Let's go with feeding time. Happy to watch. But let's hear what else you know first. All right. Remy deliver on a promise. Cops got the TP tower closed off. Took fuse from the elevator. Old Jim Larman got a spare. If you want to look at the crime scene. So there's an actual elevator. I weren't even aware of this. I thought they had to walk, like climb up on a ladder or something, or stairs at least. Where's Larman now? Remy bet you find him in Rabbit's Run. Share. The big palmetto maze. Keeps his supplies out there. Now, Jumper. Might as well. Remy bet you didn't... Don't know what drove old galley into the swamps all those years ago. Big old gator named Merlin mistook gallants. Whoa. Uh, I just totally missed that. Baby for a diaper chicken. Gator got away. Off into yonder swamp. Gallant, he ain't been right since. Whoa, so he's like, we're, we're uncovering dirt on everyone at this point. I think Gallant was one of them guys who was talking. I think he was the guy who was talking to Donovan. Yeah, I might be wrong there. This literally happened like five minutes ago. I should know. So we're finally here. Phewey! Wowzers. Well, I think we're getting close now, aren't we? Definitely. So let's hopefully wrap this thing up. My voice, however, is taking a bit of a knock, I'll be honest. Kern's not the story. His girlfriend, not knows either. Well, I think I found like a Muppet voice potentially. It's like Elmo or something. Turns out he sounds like Elmo. Who knew? Chickens don't make very good house pets. Sure, many jokes while the developers rip my swamp apart to build golden cypress. Yeah, I, I think I found that it turns out that this, like, uh, there's a word for it. Let's just, let's just call him like a swamp lurker. That'll do. I'm listening. Oh, crazy west. The movie people. Even the town politics. Politicos. Whatever you want to call them. We're all in on a new development that's going to destroy my home. I'm not even sure what that voice is, but... Uh, wow. Jefferson was obviously made for it, you know. I've just channeled Jefferson. 
like a wise man once said, home is where the hurt is. Whoa, I haven't heard that one. It's a good one. Don't you want to tell an important story for a change? It is, it's Elmo. Elmo thinks it's, it's story time. Look, Jefferson, no story time today. You've been watching too much Sesame Street. Can you open a wormhole with your mind? People think I'm nuts. Well, you do sound like Elmo, to be fair. I'll think about it. I hope you do. Did you ever find that gator that ate your babe? Ate my boy. Took my wife. Some. Big albino bastard. Named Marie. No. Ain't Gordon. Not yet. Whoa. Well, Elmo is still on the hunt for a um, crocodile slash alligator. Maybe if you like enlist Punch and Judy, maybe they can help you. Might be a puppet gang. You get like the uh, policeman involved. You, you can have a right old like pie. See you around. Uh huh. So is she going to like walk up? No, we've got to go see some dodgy guy in the bushes as well as uh, there's some people over there as well. Gosh, it never ends. And now we've got an anonymous text from Gallant Saloon. Pluto, Thunder Monkey. Going to the tower. When I get to the top, I bet I'll run into myself. She's not going to like it. Like it, lump it, he's got to eat his veggies. Stay safe, I'm still a big fan. Keep on oscillating. Bye. He's been about as helpful as dentures on a doll. Time to make the clickbait. Wow, I, I like the way I put that. So we've just got the one thing to pick. Let's just go with inflammatory, who cares? Let's just be a right old badass. I'm just having a day today where I'm just like, let's make everyone upset. <laughs> let's just ruin them. So it's Lenny Spruce here. What is this local development bullshit on my blog, Phaedra? We're not goddamn Forbes. So now we're talking to Jim Larman, of all people. He's like, wow. Keeping busy tonight, eh? Let's go over a fuse. Whoa, this is like full on. It's quite intense. Remy claims you keep extra fuses for the tower elevator. I want to look at the crime scene. Hey now, look, I doubt the cops want civvies stomping around up there. I'm wearing my quiet boots. What the hell? Just don't tell them I gave it to you. I don't want to lose what little I've got here. Like, the reason I've, like, carried it on is because I think, like, oh, we've probably not got long. Master channel for Chief Roadsides is open. It needs a fuse. Hello, one and all, I am Polly Ems, and this is Knee Deep, and this is what I imagine must be at the very, like, tail end of this act slash chapter, whatever you want to call it, of Knee Deep. Um, basically... I had a little problem where, like, the, uh, it seemed to lock up the, um, the actual puzzle, the fuse puzzle. So, uh, we're just gonna have to, uh, hopefully it will, uh, we'll try again and it'll be alright. I don't know what I'll do, I'll probably, I'll cut out the last bit, either, 
look we get to miss or something along them lines uh, apparently it's up here so that's our start that's a quick extra Let's throw that over there. That's that. Um, that doesn't quite fit there. I was going to say it fit up there. This just goes here. Really solving this pretty quickly now. It's good. So, uh, hopefully, this won't take too long. It's done it again, I think. Where it's just decided to lock up. I'm not even sure why. It's like a logistical nightmare. Like I can do that, but it's literally like locked up on me. Ah, I, I've seemed to have fixed it. Yeah, I just had to like click off a window, click back on it. But I seem some of these are like useless. That's that. Just go here. Here? No. Okay. Vaginus must go here. Yeah. Um that goes there. That's that. We are really nearly done. It's good, isn't it? I definitely think so. Boom. And we have got it all sewn up. That's more like it. Wow. Use the wrong voice, I think. Whoa. And there we are, Chief Roadsides. Okay. You can t you take up care of there. Long way to fall if you trip. Wait, what are you doing here? Whoa! Did he just get stabbed? Once again, breaking rules bites me right on the ass. So who cleans up the mess when the janitor's bleeding out? So we're on the chase. Oh. So I suppose we're supposed to accept that one of them is a suspect. You shouldn't be sno You shouldn't be snooping around here, Miss Teague. Pretty guy, step one mop guy. Broke my granola bar. Catch him. Maybe he'll turn evidence against Miss Gray here. I got it all wrong. I didn't do anything. We've never heard Tag. Whoa. So that's going to fall on her. Let's save Tina Gray. So this is probably like one of the most pivotal like things about the whole game, I'd imagine. So we were two dead, yeah. 
she seems to be the one with like the most insight. No way to be absolutely sure I'm still here in the strictest sense of the word. So you believe me? I believe that you believe you're still here. I'm riddled with existential doubt. Making a dangerous choice here. Don't know what's waiting up top. Danger's not my middle name. It's not even my nickname. I'm starting to think it could be my address, or maybe just a favourite vacation spot. Hope I live long enough to make another post. Up we go. Making a dangerous choice here. Don't know what's waiting up top. Okay, it's doing it again. Sure, I suppose. Weird. Oh, is it doing it again? This is an odd bug. Let's see if we choose something else if it changes things. He keeps doing it. What, what is wrong with her? This is too odd. <laughs> what is even wrong with this game? Too much is the answer. Let's go with the only option left. And if not, we're going to have to like do something else. I have no idea. Right, I'll just reload the game. Well, I finally managed to get it to work, so let's see if we can find out who this hooded attacker is or whether we'll just end up uh, on the uh, over the end of the knife. Damn your persistent. Must be in the blood. Better be careful running around Florida in a hoodie. Whoa, it's Gordon. Except from the story, it's all about Gordon. It's a crazy guy. Everything I've done has been for the good of the church of us. Well, I guess that makes everything as cool as 20 cats in a troubled shed. The church owes you a great deal, Miss Teague. Without your help, the insurance policy on Mr. Curran would have been nullified by suicide. Murder makes it another story altogether. It used to be me to fatten the church coffers? If you'd like, I'll be happy to. Whoa! She have a wolf turn a torpid town into a dynamic engine of modern commerce. Only if we can keep our dealings well concealed. Have a little faith, Eula. The church won't let us down. It's not the church I'm worried about. Romana Teacut. Crack it all if you want, but that be a mistake. The church can make you rich, can be, be a powerful ally and devoted friend. I've seen what the church does to its friends, all in the name of greed. Greed? You graduate from a kiddie pool, you're swimming in the blue, big blue sea, and it's not. All bad. All of them. And if we can't stop their schemes, we lose Cypress Swamp. I should be using my voice here, but I just, I'm just so into it here. We'll obliterate our sacred tribal lands. Can't do all of it, this all on our own. Between the crazed cool fanatics and daily politicians, we're totally outgunned. I suppose we won't abide this madness. 
And the blocker girl can't help us. She's just got to. Get your mind right. You're so much closer than you think, Romana. Let me help you. Let me try to make it look for all the lost years. That reminds me. I think I forgot to set my DVR to record my favorite tenor telenova. Does your RV have cable? Casey Gaddis got it all wrong 20 years ago. Boy, Conover is not your father. I never loved your mother, but she pleased me. And she proved useful in getting Conover out of my way. Why would Mom lie to me all this time? Shame I expect the burden of a troubled conscience. I'm not so weak. I sure hope Courtney fed my goldfish. My goldfish, you. Just remember, little girl, mortality is the only option. Wow. Pretty much par for the course when it comes to for men in my life. Rival is a napalm stopwatch. So much blood on his hands, and it goes back years. He used to be me to get what he wanted, just like he used Casey Gaddis. His blood looks like an oil slick from up here. Mortality is the only option. I've heard that bit of West Wee's gibberish before. If I drop a penny from up here, will it bounce off Cordray's forehead? Maybe I can land it in his mouth. Rutledge, that you, you didn't know. You drink a ferret too young, cause them to get cancer. So I say snip all the ferret babies, right, jumper, jumper. Mosquitoes buzz. Shit, not again. Meanwhile, I'm a cypress knee to our morgue. Doctors examine the body of Ted Curran. That's odd. Ted Curran never got an appended... Appendectomy. Appendectomy. Whatever. I understand what it means. It means removal of appendix, but uh, who knows. According to his records, yet here's a scar. Huh, remember Rage Joe Swayhill? He got an emergency pendant. Pendant to me. A few years back. Oh, right, yeah, so. He won a Tech Curran lookalike contest of the Founders Day Festival back in 1997. Wait, so everyone's freaking out about the wrong dead guy? Might be worse than that. Ray Joe's brother, Jack, is in draw free. As he kind of mean, call, called it in as an accidental death. So where's a real Ted Kern? Whoa. So, uh, what a cliffhanger, I suppose. Maybe he is the actual murder. The murderer behind a lot more. We've got to find out. The prologue theatre thanks you for providing an excellent performance of Me Deep Act One. No. Oh. It's time for a restroom break, I think. Hopefully the line's not too long. Maybe the first bristling bottle of water wasn't a great idea. Remember where you're sitting and come back for Act Two Festival. The end for now. Wow. That was so good, wasn't it? Do you guys like that? Whew. Well, that has been Act One. What a series of events leading up to the uh, eventual uh, kind of revelation there, you know. Ted Kern is not dead. And maybe he used uh, that lookalike to kind of fake it so that he could, like... Maybe an insurance scam. Maybe it's a way of him getting uh, to people uh, who he's got a grudge against. Who knows? We shall find out, though, in uh, Act 2, I suppose. So, uh, yes, like if you like this act and you, want, you can't wait to see Act 2. It'd be great to gauge some interest. Let me know if you uh, suspected it would uh, turn out that way. And, uh, yeah, I suppose all that. Thanks for watching, everyone. 
and goodbye.